Vision Shard is a free ward that you get immediately in your relic slot. You can use it for vision and it has a smaller vision radius than normal wards. When you're level 12, you can get a second relic to replace the shard. Curse Song reduces healing and takes away enemy shield. Enemies who are healed will also take more damage. Blighted Ankh takes to reduce healing and gives it to your allies around you. Drowned Ankh creates a pool of miasma and does damage and refreshes Ankh cooldown. Revages when you use it, you don't take any damage or healing. Revages of acceleration, every instance of damage you take, you gain speed. Revages of judgment, you reflect a percentage of damage from the taken damage. Sprint gives you movement speed and immune to slows. Entangling wings roots enemies for a second. Haste and wings takes away auto attack movement penalty and every successful auto increases the duration. Blink lets you teleport a distance if you've not taken damage in the past 3 seconds. Corrupted blink slows enemies attack speed and movement speed. Scorching blink leaves a trail of fire behind. Beads makes you immune to CC and cleanses CC. Chaotic Beads sends a missile to whoever did CC to you. Temporal Beads reduces your ability's cooldown by 3 seconds. Teleport lets you teleport to a friendly structure. When you upgrade teleport, you can teleport to a ward. Heroic Teleport gives you slow immunity, increased movement speed and protections. For persistent teleport, when you get kills or assists, your teleport gets a 10 second cooldown. Meditation gives up pulses of heals. Cloak of Ascetic reduces your skill cooldown of each tick. Cloak of Avatar knocks enemies away. Shell gives you and your allies a shield. For fortifying shell, when the shield ends, allies get damage mitigations and movement speed. Phantom Shell lets you pass through players and players made objects. Thorn lets you reflect damage and lowers enemies' lifesteal on you. Thorns of Overgrowth gives you movement attack speed depending on the amount of enemies around you. With Thorns of Sapping Strength, each auto from an enemy on you reduces this relic's cooldown. Sunder deals percentage true damage and reduces enemy shields. Target's hit also take increased damage. It has two charges in the debuff stacks twice. Sundering Blast makes the spear an AoE. Sundering Siphon links you to an enemy, dealing percentage true damage every second while healing you for half that damage. Bracer gives allies power if above half health, or movement speed if below half health. It works as a ward. If destroyed, the cooldown of this relic is reduced by 20 seconds. Bracer of Brilliance gives allies a lot more increased power and movement speed and acts as a sentry ward. Bracer of Illumination gives a little sprite that patrols the area. Gives vision and acts as a sentry ward. Horrific slows enemies' movement speed and attack speed, and lowers their damage. Emblem of Increasing Peril increases the debuff effect if you've done more than 10% of an enemy's health. With Emblem of Trembling Terror, they get trembled if they're dealt 30% of their HP. Frenzy gives friendly gods increased damage and attack speed. With Belt of Insatiable Hunger, if you get a kill or assist during, the duration refreshes. With Belt of Berserker, allied gods get a lot of increased damage and attack speed and above decaying for 6 seconds. 